Hello children, good morning and welcome to, to a new English class. Uh, today it's uh, Monday 8th of June 2020. Now please uh, open your class book, your activity book and your notebook. And in your notebook write the date with blue pen, ok? Write the date with blue pen. Jump a line and with beautiful and clean letter uh, write the date. Come on, stop the video and do it, please. Well, after that, you go to your class book, okay? Class book in the green section that you can see by the end of your book, you have the read more, the read more experiences in the unit number 5, page 74, okay? 74. It's about Morocco. Morocco, Marruecos. It's about Morocco. Morocco is our country neighbor. Uh, it's in the south of Spain, in Africa, in another continent. Spain is in Europe and Morocco is in Africa. Here you have the map. Here is Africa continent and Spain and Morocco are border countries. Some países frontera, ¿vale? Are border countries. Now please listen and pay attention to what Jasmine talk about uh, her country. Listening 70. Activity 1. Read, Read and listen. listen. Wait, read, read more. more. Yes. Morocco. 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 One. I'm Jasmine. I live in Morocco. I like animals. My favorite animals are lizards. They're reptiles. They've got scales and long tails. There are lots of lizards here. They like hot places. They live in the desert. Here you have some information about the uh, the lizard, one famous animal in Morocco. Eh? I'm Jasmine. Jasmine is that girl you can see here, and she has on her hands a lizard. Una lagartija, un lagarto, ¿vale? A lizard. I live in Morocco. I like animals. My favorite animals are lizards and they are reptiles, okay? In the groups of vertebrates, one of the groups of vertebrates are the reptiles. Eh? Remember, there are five, five families of vertebrates, animals. Mammals, reptiles, amphibus, uh, birds and fish. These are the five families of vertebrates. Eh? Now we continue. They've got scales. They've got scales. Scales in English is uh, escamas. They've got scales and long tails. Colas largas. Yes. Normally the lizards has uh, long tails. There are lots of lizards here in Morocco. They like hot places. Hot places. Le gustan los lugares. No es plaza. Esto no es plaza, eh. Plaza se dice square, ya os lo dije. Y plaza y lugares se dice place. Por eso dice they like hot places. Le gustan los lugares cálidos, calurosos. Why? Because the reptiles have cool blood. Tienen la sangre fría, ¿vale? They have cool blood. And they need the sun. They need the sun to, to, to warm the, their body. Necesitan el sol para calentar su cuerpo, ¿vale? They live in the desert. Okay. In Morocco, there is an important desert. Activity. No, the, the number two. The text number two. Texto número dos. Two. Lots of animals live in the desert. This is a fox. It's white and brown. It's small, but it's got very big ears. Foxes are mammals. Okay. Lots of animals live in the desert. Eh? This is a fox. Este es un zorro, a fox. Eh? It's white and brown. It's small. Yes, foxes are small. Eh? They are not like dogs. Dogs are bigger than foxes. Eh? Um, but it's got a very big ears. Why foxes in Africa, why foxes in Morocco have long ears and big ears? Because they need to have good ear, eh? good hearing sense. Necesitan un buen sentido del oído, a good hearing sense to catch all the movements uh, around them. Para captar todos los movimientos que hay al lado suyo. If an animal moves, si se mueve un animal, with the big ears, they can catch the sound and they can hunt uh, this animal. 
Uh, well, foxes, of course, are mammal. Okay, they are mammal because why? Because they drink their mother's milk. They have uh, a fur, in pelo, and also some of them have four legs. They have um, uh, lots of things, the characteristics of uh, mammals. Continue with the third picture. Three. Snakes live in the desert. This snake is brown. The sand is brown too. The snake is camouflaged. Yes, it's very clear. Snake, it's very difficult to see the snake on the sand, eh, under the sand. Sorry, under the sand, under the, yes, under the sand. Eh? But it's here. Can you see a snake? This is the snake. Eh? The camouflage eh, of this snake is fantastic. It's a wonderful camouflage. Lots of animals use camouflage to protect uh, from other animals. Okay, snakes live in the desert. This snake is brown. The sand, la arena, the sand is brown too. For that reason, eh, it's the camouflage. The snake is camouflaged. La serpiente está camuflada here. So when an animal, eh, when an animal is close. To this part, to this area, cuando un animal se acerca a este área de la serpiente, the, uh, this animal, este animal, these animals uh, don't see the snake because she, uh, it is camouflage and the snake hunts the, the animal without problem. La serpiente caza al animal sin problema. Because it's hidden, está escondida, it's hidden under the sand. Well, picture number four. Four. People travel in the desert on camels. Camels have got one or two humps. They've got long legs and big feet. They can walk on sand. Of course. The last animal is the camel. And people travel in the desert on camels. Why? Because camels are animals very well adapted to the uh, to the desert habitat los animales camellos estos están super adaptados very well adapted to the desert habitat al desierto están muy bien adaptados eh, to this habitat camels have got one or two hands with one hand is called dromedaries and with two hands uh, we call them uh, camels They've got long legs and a big feet. Eh? And big feet. Tienen largas patas, long legs and big feet. They can walk on sand. And they can walk very well. They have very big feet to walk on the sand. If they, if they had, eh? if they had, si tuvieran, if they had uh, small feet, it was very difficult. Eh? It would be uh, very difficult for them to walk on the sand. Eh? Se hundirían. Eh? They can dip uh, their 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 feet on the on the on the sand with small feet. Well, now with this information we have here about these four typical animals in the desert, we close. Well, don't close the classbook because maybe you you need it for the for the next activities in your activity book. But now uh, you go to your activity book page number seventy. Page number seventy. Eh? Page number 70, it's the read more, the green part. Remember, it's the green part of your book. And about Morocco, our neighbor country. It's bordered with Spain. Here we have the first activity. We have one, two, three activities. Very easy and very simple. The video, the video today of the lesson is very short. The only thing you have to do is Read the questions and answer the questions according to the information that you have in the classbook page 74. Okay, so please remember, for example, the number one Jasmine's favorite animals eh? is a fox or a lizard. What do you think? What is Jasmine's uh, favorite animal? In my opinion, in my opinion, because I remember very well the information on the, uh, on the texts. It's 
the leisure. So you cycle the correct answer. And the same you do with the number two, number three, number four, and number five. Please don't invent the answers. If you don't remember, if you don't remember, read again the texts and get the information eh, on page number 74. Okay? Don't invent the, the, the answers to the to the to the questions. Well, number two is very easy too. Read and cross. Le y tacha. Find and write the animal. Here you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sentences, and there is one blank here. In this blank, it suppose you are going to write the name of one of these animals. Okay? So, for example, uh, you read, it isn't an insect. Sentence. It isn't an insect. No es un insecto. It isn't an insect, so no, no, no. Como es este, que no, como dice que no es un insecto, lo tachas. Y lo mismo tienes que seguir tú haciendo en la segunda. It isn't pink. No es rosa. It isn't pink. Pues si no es rosa, yo tacharía cuál. It isn't pink. I cross the flamingo and the same. And finally, you get only, only one animal. And this is the animal you have to write in here in the gap. Okay. Uh, stop the video and complete the activity number two. Finally, after you have finished uh, the activity number two, you start the number three, of course. Number three, it's very easy. It's write. Write about you. Okay. Write about you. Write about your country. Always the number three in the read more activities is related to our country, to Spain or to our region. Okay? Something close to us. A hot place in my country is a hot place in my country is un lugar caluroso de mi país es where have you been with the with a hot place here in, in, in Spain? ¿Dónde has estado? En España con mucho calor. ¿Dónde? En un ecosistema, en un hábitat. ¿Dónde puede ser, por ejemplo? Piénsalo. Think about it. Think about it. Think about a habitat or think about a region, think about, a, a, you know, a place where, uh, with, a, with a hot place, okay, with a hot place and with a hot weather. ¿Mm? Por ejemplo, yo se me ocurre que en Almería, en Almería hay un desierto, eh? a hot place in my country is Almería, Almería, I write Almería, Almería... Almería Desert. Hay un desierto en Almería, ¿vale? Si alguna vez he estado allí. Almería Desert is a, is a hot, eh? is a hot place in my country. Now, number two, a reptile. Un reptil. A reptile in my country is, un reptil típico de mi país es, artijas, todo eso, ¿vale? Y las describes. It's big, it's green, ¿vale? O it's got scales, it's got a long tail. ¿Vale? Haces una frase escrita. Using your pencil. Don't write with blue pen. Number three. A mammal. A mammal in my country is... Un mamífero de mi país es... A mammal in my country is... You write the name of the mammal and you describe this mammal in two sentences. Describe with your words eh, this mammal you have chosen. And number four. My favorite animal from my country is... What's your favorite animal in your country? Please. Please. Not the dog or the cat. We are talking about wild animals. I remind you every day, but you always write dog or cat. And we are not talking about dogs and cats. We are talking about wild animals, not the best thing. Okay? So please complete these one, two, three activities. Then uh, take a picture and send me the picture with the uh, homework. Uh, one thing. If you consider that you uh, have, um, that your homework is very, very, uh, is not, it's not a lot, you are, the, the homework that you have today. You can do some extra homework. What is the extra homework you can do? I have an idea. I think that you can describe eh, in your notebook for the extra homework, you can describe a crocodile, the description of a crocodile. If you make a good description of the crocodile, I put you an extra positive apart from the normal homework. Okay? And that's all, my friend. We have finished today the unit number five. Hmm? And now, please, you stop and you complete all the activities. And don't forget to send me your photograph with the homework. Bye-bye. Kisses for everyone. And I see you in the next lesson.